While working on any electronics based project, you always need a power supply to power up your sensors, relays and motors etc. In this episode you will learn how to make your own universal type sensors power supply board. Why you should have this power supply board? How this power supply board can save you a lot of time? How this power supply board minimize the overall project making time? You will get answers to all of these questions in a minute. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBWay company which is one of the top leading companies throughout the world. The PCB board Gerber files can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find link in the description. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The most commonly used voltages are 12, 5 and 3.3 volts. The 5 volts and 3.3 volts are already available on the Arduino. Now the question is why I need this power supply board. Well, there are some reasons for making this power supply board. Number 1. There are situations when you need to connect multiple sensors with the Arduino or any other controller board. And you need more 5 volts, 3.3 volts and ground wires. As you know in Arduino we can only connect 2 wires with the 5 volts and 3.3 volts. In a situation like this we start using the breadboard and in no time the entire breadboard is covered with wires. The soldering job on a Vero board becomes very hectic. There are high chances of short circuit if you are a beginner. A lot of testing and troubleshooting is required. Using this power supply board you can easily distribute the 5 volts, 3.3 volts and ground. Number 2. There are situations where the Arduino's 5 volts are not enough to power up all the sensors and electronic boards. In a situation like this, my designed power supply board can be a life saver. You can use the regulated 5 volts from this board to power up the sensors and use the Arduino's 5 volts as well to power up some of the sensors. Remember my servo based project. The Arduino's 5 volts were not enough to power up the servo motor and as a result I had to make a power supply using the Vero board. The same thing happened when I was working on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the Arduino's 5 volts were not enough. Then I made a power supply using the Vero board. Now using this power supply board I can easily power up the servo motor and other electronic devices without any problem. Number 3. You know in maximum Arduino based projects, relays, motors, solenoid valves, fans etc are used which needs 12 volts. So this board also has the 12 volts. Number 4. Instead of using a breadboard, my designed power supply board can also be used as the development board. You can easily connect sensors with less wiring. Number 5. In this power supply board, the male and female headers are used. So this way you can use male to male and male to female type jumper wires. Isn't it amazing? It has many advantages. I believe every electronics lover should have this. Now I'll use this power supply board in my upcoming projects and tutorials. Now let's have a look at its circuit diagram. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect the adopter, 12 volt battery or a solar panel. This DC female power jack is connected with the input legs of the 7805 and 7812 voltage regulators. 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulators. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The LED is used as the indicator that the circuit is powered up. 
from SV1 to SV12, these are the male and female headers. As you can see on the legs of the SV1 are connected together and then connected with the power supply ground. SV2 and SV8 are used for the 5 volts and 3.3 volts from the Arduino. SV4 is connected with the 5 volt regulator. SV3 is connected with the 12 volt regulator while all the other headers are used for the sensors. Now let's have a look at the PCB layout. 5 volt from the Arduino can be connected with SV2 and then from here it can be connected with different sensors and similarly for the 3.3 volts. Ground from the Arduino can be connected with SV1 and this is also connected with the power supply ground. The external power supply 12 volts will be available on SV3 and 5 volts will be available on SV4. Now it's totally up to you you want to use the Arduino's 5 volts or the 5 volts from the external power supply. After I was done with the PCB designing then I placed an online order on the PCBWay official website. I have a separate video on how to generate the Gobo files and how to place an online order. The link is given in the description. These are the PCBs manufactured by the PCBWay company. As you can see the quality is really great. Now let's start the soldering. As you can see all the components are soldered and now it's ready. Now I can use this for performing experiments and I can also use this as the final circuit board. The original PCB board layout file can be downloaded from my website www.electronicclinic.com. If you have any questions regarding this power supply board let me know in a comment. Any suggestions will be highly appreciated. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.